See that screen? Perfect. All right. Welcome to the Grow Blockchain. Our goal is to harness blockchain, te blockchain technology to nourish people, animals, and the planet. Our large vision, what we are trying to do is to decentralize the global ag and farming industry. And why does that have to happen? Here is a visual for you on what the current industry looks like. It is massively centralized. Essentially, 10 companies control the entire food industry. And that has led to some really big problems that we have that we are trying to solve. And one of those problems is making producers the hero of the story again. A hundred years ago, we knew where our food came from because we either grew it ourselves, killed it ourselves, or we got it from a neighbor down the street. Due to the world expanding and growing and innovating in the way that it has, that is no longer possible. We can't go back to probably everyone having a homestead and everyone having a farm. The world is, is a different place than it was 100 years ago. However, with the new technology that we have with AI and blockchain, we can free farmers and give them the transparency all the way to the consumers and make them the hero again. The other thing we have to do is we have to help people who eat. And so if you fall into this category, people who eat, throw something in the chat right now kind of a joke, but we all know we all have to eat, right? And so who is grow for and who does this matter? This is it right here. There's a small section of the world that is a producer, but every single person falls into people who eat. And if we eat well, then we will live well. And when we live well, we can actually change humanity and the things that we talk about. And we can make the impact that we're talking about with the technology that we have in blockchain. And so our goal is to return our confidence and trust in the quality and source of our food. Now, many of you may have heard this bet, but I encourage you to use what people to because it proves the point that we do not have the right system right now in our food system. And so here's the bet. And here are the questions that you can use. Have them close their eyes and ask them to think about the food that they ate in the last 72 hours. Once they have that in their mind, ask them if they would like to know how nutritious and where that food came from. And I promise you up to that point with these two questions, every single person will keep their hand up because I've done it over 10,000 times and I've kept every single hand up up to this point. Then ask them if they would like some kind of prize. I use Bitcoin all the time. Keep your hand up if you would like me to send you a Bitcoin today. Everybody keeps their hand up. And then the last question is, keep your hand up if you can tell me exactly what went into that food, where it came from, and the carbon footprint of that food. I have never lost this bet, ever. In the last two years, I've never lost a bet. And one day I will lose this bet, and that will be an amazing day. And one day you will lose that bet. And that's when we know we are on the right track. And so that's the goal at a high level, that is what the Grow Blockchain is trying to do with our mission that every single one of us knows here and that we can repeat over and over and over again is to nourish the world. Nourish the world so that we can create the impact and make sure everybody lives well. Now, I want to go into something that we often don't think about. And if you're here and you're a block bot, this may be the most important thing of the week. So just dial in. If you've been tuned out for a second, tune in for the next three minutes. The way that we nourish the world in today's economy and the way things are, the way we live as humanity is what I'm about to show you. Web one was the information economy. It actually began massive centralization but it was a massive push forward for the world. It's when Google and Yahoo and Internet Explorer launched and all of a sudden the whole world was connected and we had access to all of this information at our fingertips. And then Web2 came in and Web2 became the platform economy where you had Facebook and social media and WordPress and our ability as creators on the platform of the internet was, was possible. It was really easy for us to take an iPhone or an Android, take a picture and participate in the creation on the internet. However, every single thing was still owned and put back into the centralized system. 
Web3 is the ownership economy where the users and the people that are participating inside of the tech are actually the ones that are rewarded when that tech is helpful via proof of action, taking positive actions. And so I want you to think about this quote. Henry Ford was attributed to saying, if I had asked people what they wanted when he was creating the Model T car, the first automobile, Bill in the world. The technology that we are bringing to the world with blockchain and with our node network, most of the world is unaware that it exists and how it works. And so as block bots, as the users and the beginning owners of these blockchains, it feels so important to me that we have to understand what we are actually trying to do to get our products and services to the world. And what we are trying to do is decentralize that, give it back to the users and have true Web3 ownership via blockchain that is publicly shared, immutable, records and tracks transactions so that we go from a centralized system where everything points back to this middle centralized system into a blockchain like you see on the right, where every single operating active node owner. And when we have that, that is how we are actually going to accomplish the mission of Nourish the World. When I talk to some of the biggest companies in the world, all of our users down to the smallest consumer do not have a node network. If we do not have a decentralized blockchain, we're just like everything else. And Everything else has not worked up to this point, and it is not what is going to take us forward and provide the transparency that we're looking for and provide the true nourishment that we're looking for, not only for ourselves as humanity and our own bodies, but also for our soils, for our atmosphere, for our plants and for our animals. And so what we have created is the Grow Blockchain Ecosystem, which is a blockchain for all agriculture related products and services. And this graph on the right is a good visual of how you can look at what we've created. The blockchain sits in the middle and provides the ability for us to tie in products and services that lead to our mission. And that's what we have. And that is what we are trying to tell the world and get them involved in. Because when we have that decentralized network, we can plug in products and services all day long, but we must have the network first. And so now I wanna show you three of our current projects that are currently live and working. Our first is Farm Tracer. And so Farm Tracer is an app that helps trace the world's food to where with our partner farms, currently Royal Ranch, who is going to join us later in the week and show us a demonstration of exactly where this came from and how it works. But what this does is it takes all of the inputs that our current hero farmers are doing and we API that into a beautiful app and make it really easy to scan a QR code and see all of the information of where your food came from, where it was grown, where it was killed and butchered, how much food it ate, what the plant was. And that's working. And we were able to put that on the blockchain. Next, we have our Carbon Ag Project, which is helping create a carbon neutral world by 2050. The goal here is to help reward farmers that are making good regenerative practices and help them create credits out of that that can then be turned into a new vertical and reward them for doing those practices to regenerate the soil and the atmosphere. Our last project is the Nourish Marketplace. And the Nourish Marketplace is active at www.nourishmart.com. Now I saw a comment in here earlier that all, all of the meat on the Nourish Mart is actually right now. And that is true. We have launched the Nourish Mart about four weeks ago. And almost every single week, we have sold out of the available meat that our partner farms have on this. Now, little teaser for Thursday, we will be adding a new partner farm and we will be adding new meat to the blockchain and to the Nourish Mart on Thursday. So stay tuned. Exciting things coming on Thursday. But the mission of the Nourish Mart is to connect Will, people. Can you, with Will, can you say that again about Thursday? It cut out for me. I'm not sure if it cut out for everybody else, but you said little teaser yep. about Thursday. 
Yep. So Thursday, we have a new partner farm coming on to the Nourish Marketplace, and we will bring them onto this call. We will introduce you to them, and there will be more meat available on the Nourish Mart from another partner as well. So here's how everyone can be involved. We talked about this, but there's three very, very simple ways to get people involved with Grow right now. One, set up your free Grow wallet, which is already set up when you set up with Connect. And so every time you get somebody to set up with Connect, as we talked about earlier with Jim and Trace, they are also going to have a Grow wallet. Then and to clarify, Will, yep. hold on one sec. So to clarify, for those of you who are in the 2.0 version, of connect that's true for those of you who are not if you were in 1.0 which is probably a lot of these block bots do they still need to go set up a free grow wallet um i can answer that jim so everybody who's signed up since about since hawaii has automatically received doesn't have anything to do with 1.0 or 2.0 they've automatically received a grow wallet anyone who signed up before april um, you had to sign up a separate grow wallet by yourself and connect so if you signed up with connect and didn't set up a grow wallet and you've been with connect you know, for years, you need to go set one up with Grow. Perfect. Okay. So then they can buy nourished food. So they can go to the nourishmart.com. They can actually use their Grow token to buy food and have it shipped to them. Now we are working on international shipping and international partnerships currently. Currently, these, the shipping is just domestic to the United States. But we will continue to work on and let you all know when that is active and moving. And then the last thing that they can do is they can buy and run a Grow node and be a part of the decentralized network of the Grow blockchain. So why Grow nodes? Why is this so important? Well, one, because of what we talked about before, getting people to understand that we need decentralization. We need that to store blockchain data, verify food transactions, provide consensus, mine and distribute the native grow token and have immutable tracking of real world assets in the digital world via the grow blockchain so that we can go from a centralized system to a blockchain and a decentralized system. Now, here is my ask for the day. So as I've given these presentations many, many times over the last two years, I used to talk about this, uh, about being a revolution. And everything that we are doing is a revolution. However, when you think about feeding humanity and you think about the systems that currently exist, I believe it is about us coming together, working together as a community in a Renaissance fashion to truly leverage the best tech in the world today, go back to some of the best ways of growing and regenerating the soil. And when we match those two things together, We'll have a renaissance in the way that we eat and the way that we produce food that will change the world for centuries. And so what we have done is we have launched a podcast called the Grow Renaissance Podcast. And in that podcast, we talk about exactly what we are doing, the things that we are solving, and we bring in our partners and thought leaders that are working with us on the Grow blockchain in our community. And so that podcast has now launched and my ask for all of you is I am going to share in the chat right now the link to the YouTube for episode one with the title being, What is the Grow Renaissance? And in that, myself and the president of Royal Family Farms talk about the history behind Royal, or sorry, the history behind the Grow blockchain and how we got to the Grow Renaissance. And so that will be on all podcast platforms by the end of today and is currently live and active on YouTube. So I just put the link to the YouTube in the chat. My ask is that you all share that. When you go and you give your win, node, your win wallet out today, just share that link. And now you'll be able to say, all you have to do is share the link. This is one of our projects. This is the Grow Renaissance that is running on the Grow blockchain. If it piques your interest, Let's talk. And the more people that you can send that to, the more people that we will know about our mission, know about exactly how we're doing it and be able to roll. So that is the ask for today. We will be on every single day this week, giving you a little bit more. We'll be a little shorter every day, but that is grow. And we're excited to bring it to the world.